becoming mayor was not nothing you ever expected or planned in 1992. And that was right after our home was devastated by the 1990 earthquake. I was very young then, but I remember it vividly. We weren't home then, Dad. And that was my first thought when our house was, when we thought our house was falling down. You weren't home because you were out working and you came home and we never thought after that horrendous experience that Baguio would ever return to the home it was before. And when you became mayor, you changed all of that. I mean, with everybody's help, of course, you gave us hope. We had hope again. And people wanted to come back to Baguio City again. I just want you to know that I love you very, 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 very much. Um, and I'm also very, very proud of you. I think about it sometimes. 31 years in service. Wow. It overwhelms and amazes me right now, like how someone could dedicate their life just to public service. Some people tend to question the motivations behind it, and I want to tell them, like, no, your desire was always simply just to serve and help people. Since you were a lawyer, you've always helped people. I, what I find really hurtful is when people say that you have done this for money, when you have been successful even before you became a public servant been successful before before that you you have never done this for money and I want people to know that if there's anything that I want them to know that this was never about money this is about bettering the quality of the lives of other people and you would know that like saan ka nakahanap na pwede mong puntahan alas 6 na umaga alas 6 ng gabi we don't turn you away you know that first memories ko yun 1988 when you entered politics 3 ako 4 bumaba ka di nga hantay nga nagdigdig ko sa inyo ti makita tao I don't think anybody could have done any better than you. You have accomplished so much for this city. You have made this city a home, um, not just for me, but uh, for everybody else that lives here. And I hope nobody else would forget that. I just want to say that I'm, I'm grateful. I'm, I appreciate that. I don't think a lot of people see the fun side of you. They know that you're intelligent, they know that you're a good servant, but they don't see the fun side of you. And I just want you to know that you know, you've been the best father to me and my sisters. Thanks to what you did, and that's another thing that I'm very grateful for, and I hope that the people don't forget or erase in their memories that you did this, that you helped build Baguio again, that you made Baguio beautiful again because of your hard work and your dedication and your sacrifice to make it the way that it is now. Again, we cannot say it enough. Thank you for your service, Dad. We are so proud of you and happy. You are a busy guy, but you loved us very much. And I felt, I felt that. I think I said this before, now. whatever it is you choose to pursue after this, like, you know that I, you have our full support. We love you, we support you, we believe in you. We are so grateful for your service and we will never forget. I hope the people don't forget either.